Hello, welcome to the JavaScript tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. In this session, we will talk about functions. Functions are very important entities in any programming language, and in JavaScript, they are very important because they have a first class status, meaning they could be passed to other functions as variables. And you can do very interesting things with this concept. So let's take a look at examples of functions in JavaScript. Just imagine functions as a black box. You give something to the function and optionally, not mandatory, optionally it will give something back to you. So it will do something based on what you're providing it. Okay, And you can use this black box at whatever needed in your program. For example, if you have one logic piece of logic that you need again and again so instead of coding that logic again and again you compact that logic in a black box and you call that black box whenever needed so uh, for the sake of discussion alert is also a function which comes seeded with JavaScript but you can create your own functions and that's what we are going to see in this session and JavaScript function may or may, may not return a value back. In this case of alert, it's not returning any value back. We are passing a value called argument. One argument we are passing to this function called uh, your topic variable is passed as an argument and based on that this function is doing something and it, it's not returning any value back to us. So let's take an example of a function that you can create in a JavaScript language. So here's an example that will lead to creation of a function. So let's say we have a variable called my name and I put my name in there and we have a variable called my employee number. I, I put 10 in there and let's say the convention in our company is that your login ID is your name your first name plus your employee number. So in my case, Hassan 10 would be my login ID. And my login is calculated in this variable, my login, and I'm initializing my name plus my employee number to this variable, and then I'm displaying to the screen my login ID. So let's say in my application, I am generating the login IDs at multiple occasions for different employees and I just want to consolidate the logic of calculation of login ID at one place because in future if we ever change the format of the login ID I don't want to go at those hundred places in my application and change the logic so I want to consolidate the logic of generation of login ID in one place and what else would be the better place than a function and I can then call this function from various points throughout my application here you are seeing a syntax of a function. The keyword function comes first that tells the system that a definition of the function is about to come after this keyword. Then the name of the function. It should be logical so that by looking at the function name you should be able to tell what it's supposed to do. And again the same camel case standard comes in here generate login. The first word is totally in lowercase and the first letter of the second word is in uppercase and so on for the third and fourth as well if they are there. So this function will generate the login so I named it generate login. Then comes these brackets and in these brackets you pass on some arguments to the function and these arguments are received in some special variables that are only visible within the function. For example, the first value that I'm going to pass to this function will be received in a variable, let's say variable name I call it, var name, and the second value will be received in a variable employee number, var employee number. And then the curly bracket indicates the start of the body of the function. It has to end with the ending curly bracket. So between these curly brackets you see you will put in the body of the function the logic what would this function do with this value that you are sending to the function it will do something and optionally it will return something back so this function is supposed to 
calculate or generate the login for a person and let's declare a variable inside this function called var login and in this variable the login will be generated and capped so the current format for the login is name of the person plus employee number and in future if we ever want to change this this is the location where we will change the format and the whole application will call this function to generate the login and this change will impact the whole application so this function has generated the login what to do with it now let's put it on the screen so this function is generating the login and displaying it on the screen and we'll change this later on but I want to go through a step-by-step -step learning approach we learn the basics and then we move on to the advanced topics okay so this is a function that will generate the login and it will display it on the screen and it's not returning any, any value back later on we'll learn how to return a value from a function and how to receive it in the main program and how to take it forward from there now I can call this function from anywhere in in this main program okay so at the start of the program system will read this function definition and it will store it in the memory and it will whenever this function will be called all the logic in the function will be executed at that time now system will come to this line and it's gonna put value Hassan in variable my name and then it's gonna come to this line and it's gonna put the employee number 10 it doesn't have to be in quotes it's a number uh, it's gonna put 10 in the variable my employee number and here in the third line we are going to remove this line and we're gonna remove this line as well now in the third line what we are doing is we need to call this function generate login and we are calling this function and passing it as an argument the variable my name and the variable my employee number so these are the values passed to the argument in shape of a very passed to the function in shape of variables and these values will be received in these parameters these are parameter variables and these are arguments okay so whatever is in my name will be received in a variable in a parameter variable var name and whatever value is in my employee number variable will will be received in a variable var employee number the visibility of these parameters is within the scope of this function only they are not visible to the main program body now Hassan is in var name and 10 is in var employee number variable and we are declaring another variable within the within this function called login login will be Hassan 10 and Hassan 10 will be displayed on the screen again this variable login is not visible to the main program only visible to the function that's why I called function as a black box you pass something to this black box in this case values in my name and my employee number variable and this black box will do something and optionally it will spill out something back so theoretically speaking the main program is not supposed to know the logic inside the inside the function it's only supposed to know okay what is function expecting to receive you pass on something to the function it will do something so we have an error here my employee number n should be in uppercase save the work and go to the browser and run the program run the uh, page page.html and this will call the script okay so we see the message Hassan 10 this message is coming from the function and this is what we expected to see so this is the line that was creating that message on the screen 